how to sign up for fiverr and set up a gig step by step hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today i will be showing you how you can create your own fiverr account and how you can set up your own gigs on fiverr and how you're going to actually complete your profile on fiverr so let's get into it now to begin the sign up process all you need to do is you're going to go on fiverr.com and over here you're going to see that fiverr is one of the largest freelance communities out there there. Not only can you find freelancers, but you can offer your services as a freelancer on Fiverr as well. So if you have any talent or skill, anything that you're good at, you can probably sell that service, sell whatever you're good at in the form of a service on Fiverr. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on to Fiverr.com. Once you are on Fiverr.com, you're going to see on your top right over here, you have the sign in button. So you're going to click on sign in and then you're going to see this is going to open up the uh, sign in file uh, sign in pop-up or you can just click on join over here so they will give you the join pop-up and then you can choose to create your account on fiverr via these three social methods which are apple sign up google sign up and facebook sign ups or you can also choose to enter your email so this is just the initial step this is where you will just enter your email and then you will enter a password and what you're going to do once you have done that this will automatically create your account and then you're just going to log into your account account so you can see over here that i have logged on to my account via the email address and password that is all the sign up process requires but this is the actual important part which is setting up your profile so if you click on your profile over here on your top right you will have all of your personal details you can see i just created this account so uh this is really just uh really just empty space it's like an empty account i created this but i never filled this account out so if you can see this is what your account is going to be looking like as well and once you have this process set up you're going to uh, once you have your email account registered on fiverr you will actually begin setting up your process which is the important part of any fiverr registration so if you sign up and you start you know trying to create a gig that is going to be absolutely useless you need to do some initial steps before we are going to create a gig you need to fill out all your personal information so to start off what i do recommend is to add a photo. Uh, if you're not comfortable with adding your own professional photo, you can use any royalty-free image on Bekteezy. That is the first step. After that, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see the description. So you're going to click on edit description and then you're going to enter about your special expertise and any kind of description about your work or anything that you do. So let's say that I am someone that is working in social media management. So what I would usually add a description for a social media management a service provider is something along the lines of I've been using social media since I was a child and I have a great experience in social media management but I also have been trying to learn game development and I do have some tad bit of experience in game development so people know your major skills plus a small minor things that you could potentially help them out with so I'm going to write a small description as a sample for you guys now once I've added my description you're going to make sure that if there is any red line appearing on on any of the words of your description you're going to click on over here do a right click and then correct any spelling mistakes or any grammar mistakes that you might have and then you're just going to click on update over here now you can see social media management is my prime job but i've picked up team leadership skills and logo making from this as well and i like to create voiceovers in my free time this is a good description i recommend that you add more lines to this usually i would recommend at least a eight line description for your fiverr account that is what i recommend that is the most effective that I found when I was looking for gigs on Fiverr as well. When I was trying to get booked, the longer my description was, the more detailed I was, the more jobs that I got. Now below that you have your languages. This is pretty self-explanatory. You just have to enter the languages that you are fluent in. Below that you have your social media accounts. So if you have any business accounts, now I don't recommend that you uh, link your spam Twitter account or your NFT Twitter account. If you have any personal accounts, don't link them. But if you have a semi-professional type account if there is like a Facebook account that you really don't use other than for professional messaging sometimes and there is nothing that is inappropriate professionally then I would recommend that you can link them on your linked accounts but in most cases don't link any of your social media that is just super personal or just that that is, that is going to break a boundary between you and your clients you can also link your Twitter Google account Drupal Slack Overflow or any other account that you choose below that you have your skills and this is very essential 
essential to add. So you're going to add whatever you are doing. So first off, we're going to add some social media skills. So you're just going to click on add new and then take a look at the different skills. You're just going to type in whatever skills that you are of expert or beginner or intermediate in. So just like that, you're just going to keep on adding skills. And I recommend that you add as many skills as you possibly can but make sure that these skills are accurate don't just bluff i would recommend that your entire profile should not have one single bluff if you bluff on anything on fiverr and you get caught by a client it's not getting caught like maybe a client is like oh hey i uh, maybe you're working with a client and while you're working they're like hey i know you also do marketing that was in your skill could you market this product for me as well and then when you're going to be dumbfounded on what to do that will be a very very bad impression for your client they're going to leave you a bad review on your fiber gig and this will inhibit further clients so that is why it is so essential that i recommend that none of your skills should be falsified if you're just a beginner just add the uh, experience level as a beginner so if you're a beginner in anything just add the experience level as a beginner and if they ask you to do that task you can tell them hey i can do this but i am still a beginner i don't have that level of experience or that level of skill that you might require and you can refer them to someone else as well and then you're going to add any formal education and certification these sections are actually not that important unless you're working in some very specific fields like coding it something like that for something like that you might want to add uh, all of your education and certifications but for basic freelancing skills like social media management local creation graphic design like of course if you do have education in those fields add them if you do have any certification add that as well but in general you really don't need any specific qualification or certification now once you're going to do that you can click on preview fiverr profile to see what your profile is looking like it should be pretty busy it should look crowded on your left side it shouldn't look empty there should be a good description good linked accounts and a few good skills now this is just what i've added as a sample to show you guys your actual profile should be double of this so i've written four lines as a sample you should write a minimum of eight and i've added four skills you should add a minimum of eight but make sure those are legitimate skills that you have and that you can actually provide to your clients now this was the setup of your profile you've created your account you have signed up for fiverr how do you actually create a gig so what you're going to do is once you're on your profile you're going to click on create new gig over here so once you click on create new gig you're just going to click on continue 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 and now after that you just have to fill out all of this personal information so we're just going to complete our personal information so once you have entered your full name you're going to enter your occupation two to five of your best skills in whatever your occupation has been in the specific time period you can add multiple occupations as well then you're going to have all of your skills listed you can click on add new to add more skills as well than your education and a personal website so if you already have a website you can link that over here and now you're just going to click on continue after that you have your linked accounts we're going to continue with that and finish over here and once you have done that you can begin with your actual profile uh, completion so you can see once you click on finish you can see you need a minimum completion rate of 65 percent so you you will have to confirm your phone number and a couple more things so i will just do that and i will get back to you guys in a second now you can see over here that i have verified my phone number and over 65 percent of my profile has been created so i can start creating my gig now you can see a gig has three basic categories you have your gig title the category your gig will be present in so what kind of service are you providing and the search tag so i'm just offering a simple gig of i will create logos for your business then i will choose the category they will give you some suggested categories as well so we're going to use the suggested categories below that you also have your gig metadata so you can choose a specific niche as well let's say we can do hand-drawn vintage or like whatever style that you might have you can choose that as well let's say we are going to do a, a hand-drawn logo then you also have your logo type so it could be wordmark and it could be a file for format of jpeg pdf png these are the three file formats that maybe i provide with this service then you also have your search tags so we're going to add basic tags like logos or business logo so we're just adding these two tags and then we're just going to verify that you're going to click on save and continue now after that you have your scope and pricing you're going to add your delivery time and you can offer three basic packages you have your basic standard and premium so you can offer a basic service in which you provide a five day delivery time with zero revisions and uh, you have two concepts included and then you can also choose the specifics of your service as well so let's say if this is a logo 
logo, you have logo transparency, vector file, and then in the standard version, you can include a shorter delivery day time, so three day delivery and one revision, and you have three uh, concepts included, and you can offer more services in the standard version, and so on and so forth, and you can offer these at different prices. So let's say the premium version will have a one day delivery time with two one revision, three uh, concepts included, and then we're going to add some more features over here. You're just going to select whatever applies, like so, and then you're going to add the price. So the cheapest version I'm going to provide for five dollars, then for ten, and then for twenty. And just like that, I'm just going to click on save and continue. These are just some basic information fields that I need to fill out. So I'm just going to leave these. Obviously, you will actually be entering uh, names onto these files. And so now over here, you can see we have our basic uh, packages. If you don't want to provide different packages, if you want to provide only one specific service, you can just click on this over here and this will turn off the offer packages and you can provide just one basic version of this service. And then we're just going to enter the description like this and we're going to click on save and continue to move forward with our gig. Then you're just going to add your gig description. So this is going to be what your gig is actually going to look like. Now, after that, you will just add FAQs. So if any kind of basic information, you know, any kind of questions that you might expect, you can answer them already. And then you can add questions to help buyers provide you with exactly what you need to get started with when you're working with their order. So let's say when you're looking for a logo, you need the business name, the uh, date of creation of the business, any important events of the business, the business owner's name, CEO names. So you can add all of those requirements over here. And then uh, you can add just one quite basic question. And then you're just going to click on save and continue. And once you do that, you're just going to choose the image of your gig and you will be ready to publish your gig. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to not only create your Fiverr account, but get started with creating your own gig as well. And make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.